Hey everybody, welcome back to It Kinda Works. Today I wanted to show you guys some updates that I've been making to my filming area. Uh, as you guys have noticed, I haven't made a whole lot of, you know, studio table electronics tutorials in a while. And one of the reasons for that, among many, but one of the big ones has been that my filming area has just been a huge pain. So this was my old filming rig and it was, you know, bolted up to the ceiling there and my camera would mount in the center on this bar here and I had two wheel little wing lights mounted there and there. And, you know, it was just so cumbersome. I mean, just look at it, it's huge. It's, it's bulky when it's mounted to the ceiling, it's still covering a lot of the table. So it, it really was a limiting setup. So I've been doing a lot of cleaning around the house and organizing of the basement. And I decided today that it was time for this, this rig here to be retired. So what I've gone ahead and done is obviously unmounted this. And I've built a totally new rig and, and this stuff here is the new rig and you can see already it is far less cumbersome. So what do we have? We have a pair of little wing lights here and they're mounted on steel rails. And the beauty of that is that when I don't need the lights, they can be out here out of the way. But when I need the lights, I can slide them into place, I can rotate the lights, I could have a longer beam on here if I need them low down. Uh, and so I have this light here and I have that light right there. And it's really convenient. I could just slide it out of the way when I don't need it. And just in case this is too bulky and cumbersome for whatever reason, maybe I'm moving stuff on the shelf and, and you know it's getting in the way, they can just come right off. So they're just mounted on these little, little block bearings here, these little linear bearings, and they can go on and off really easily. So that's the lights. I may end up having another light, kind of a center light that, you know, maybe it's a little bit more fixed, but I'll probably have some kind of other light other than this here coming down onto the rig. So that, that covers that. Now, for the camera mount, I have this here. So I also wanted the camera mount to be out of the way 90% of the time because, you know, normally I'm working with real small stuff here. So normally the camera is mounted pretty close to the desk. And again, if I'm not using it for filming, that's just getting in the way. So what I've done here is I've built another kind of out of the way unit. And by the way, all of this, this, uh, uh, metal that I'm using here, all these, these bar, metal bars, they're called 8020 Aluminum Extrusion. 8020 is the brand name. Uh, you can find them cheaper through other uh, names, but Aluminum Extrusion. And what makes it really nice, you can see the old rig was even built out of this stuff, is that it's just these, these, these profiled bars that you can slide nuts into them and, and put brackets on them. And it's, it's really quick and easy to set them up and also to take them apart. So this is aluminum that's been used on many, many projects. So anyway, just a little tangent on that. So the camera rig is really easy. There's a little, little clip here at the ceiling and you release the clip and it swings down. And you can see it's, you know, it's just on a hinge swinging freely. That's not very good for camera work. So I have this little bracket here and it just slots in and holds it nice and vertical. So I haven't done the camera mount for that yet, but this is sort of the beginnings of it. And so now I have the lights and if I want to film, I just bring the light over here, set it up, set up the camera. And when I'm all done, I can just slide that out of the way and reattach this to the ceiling. So that's all I have for today, guys. I just wanted to give you guys this little, little update to the filming area. Uh, if you like this kind of behind the scenes video, definitely let me know down in the comments below. 
uh, you know, this kind of video is not really my, my norm. So I'm really interested to hear what you guys think. Anyways, I hope to be making some more electronics tutorials. I do have quite a few ideas, so keep an eye out for that. And I will see you guys all next time. Take care.